Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful day outside. I tried to do this video a couple days ago. I was really tired and not in a great mood. My thoughts were all jumbled. But today I want to talk about color coat genetics and patterns and stuff like that. James from Love My Pups does an amazing job at this. Um, he breaks each thing into like a different video and he uses his whiteboard, which is super helpful. And that's how I learned about all this stuff. But I'm just going to do like a quick video about... Um, the jeans and stuff. If you need more information, check uh, Love My Pups out, or you can go to my blog, it explains everything. And there's even pictures of like different colored dogs. Um, some of my friends with other kennels, they have provided photos to give um, a good example of those colors because I don't have some of these colors yet. Uh, I will not be getting into pink, husky, or koi. I don't know anything about them. Probably never will. So let's start with A. Locus. A. Locus is fawn, sable, tan points, and solid. So fawn is a Y. A Y is dominant over tan points and solid. It only takes one copy to express. Um, you can pair it with other colors such as blue, chocolate, Isabella, whatever. Um, the fawn comes in all those colors. Um, tan points. Tan points is dominant over solid. So if you have one copy of tan with a uh, solid A, you're still gonna have tan points and then solid a obviously takes two copies to express uh k locus ky is no brindle or it allows the a locus to express kb is dominant black and kbr is brindle so a brindle dog um or the brindling allele the, a brindle dog is a y a y or a y a t so brind um Fawn is a complete coat pattern or color, and so that's why brindle affects the entire body. Now, when you have a dog that's KBR mixed with AT, AT, or ATA, the, you'll only see brindling on the paws, cheeks, and eyebrows because that's where the A locus is on that dog. So it's, you're not going to see it over the entire body because um, tan points only affect the feet, paws, and eyebrows, or the cheeks and eyebrows, sorry. Um, D locus. D or blue is um, a dilution gene. So um, it, it affects some, I can't pronounce it, it starts with a P, but it's a pigment. Um, so it changes all of how that, you know, links together, and that's what causes uh, the blue. D locus is recessive, so you have to have two copies of the dilution gene for it to express. A, K, D, Coco, also another dilution gene. Um, you have to have two copies for that to express as well. Coco, E locus, E, M is black mask, E is dominant black, and lowercase e is cream. Cream needs two copies to express. It covers everything. It covers merle, it covers brindle, it covers tan points, blue, lilac, Isabella, all that stuff, it covers all of it. So um, if you think you have a merle that uh, that's cream or platinum or whatever, you might wanna color test because it does cover the merle. Um, pied. Pied is, takes two copies to express. It can come in any color, including cream, merle, brindle, whatever, turquoise, green. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no green. But, um, but yeah, uh, pied can come in any color. It only, it takes two copies to express. If you have one copy, you might have some white, like minimal white spotting, such as the chest and like maybe something on the forehead, whatever. You can, um, you can also get um, Irish pies, which uh, like the, the paws are white, but you have the rest of the body is um, colored. Dahlia, come here, come here. So, okay, you're in my way. This is Dahlia, she's a blue peed. She also carries a copy of Coco. Her eyes are gold. <laughs> yeah, good, good girl. 
Uh, Merle. Merle takes one copy to express. Um, there's been some new findings depending on your Merle length. You can mix it with other Merles, but it all depends on the, the length of Merle. Um, I still suggest not doing it because a lot of people, they don't do the Merle length measures. So um, if you're gonna breed Merle Merle, you have to have those measurements to make sure that it's safe to breed. Merles can come in any color. They can come in brindle, um, fawn, blue, cocoa, whatever color you want, just like pied, comes in any color. Um, there's also um, Harlequin Merles, which are really cool. They have a white base coat and um, like super, super white, like holy cow, blinding white. <laughs> We've pr produced a few. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. I think they're really, really interesting. They look like a Great Dane, so that's pretty cool. Um, now let's get into Rojo, Isabella, stuff like that. Those are all color coat combinations. So Isabella, you have to have two copies of blue, two copies of testable chocolate. New shade Isabella is um, two copies of blue, two copies of testable chocolate, two copies of um, cocoa. Then you have the platinums, like, <laughs> You can add cream onto that. Those are new shade platinums, um, Isabella cream, stuff like that. Platinum traditionally is only lilac covered in cream. So if, if someone has a blue covered in cream and they're calling it platinum, it's not a platinum. Um, where to next? Like I said, I don't really know anything about husky, koi, pink. Um, I hear pink is like a variation of um, a different level of um, albinism, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, if you need more information on color coats and genetics, please go to our blog. Um, the link is, like, is in our bio. Um, if you click on the link tree, it'll take you to, you know, all the different options. Um, I believe our website is listed right now under services but there's a blog tab on our website. So go right there, check it out. It explains everything in depth. It's, it's really awesome. Some of our breeder friends have provided photos for um, pictures of dogs and colors that I don't have yet. So um, thank you to them, including Spalding Farm Bullies. <laughs> um, so we have a great blog about that. And then, uh, like I said, James from Love My Pups, if you need more in-depth details about um, different stuff like that, he does amazing um, videos that breaks everything down for, um, for it to be easier for you. So yeah, everybody enjoy this weather, go to the pool, do something. Our pool house is still burnt down and they haven't rebuilt it yet. So they said that it was supposed to be done by July 4th, but um, it's not looking that way. So I wish I had a pool to go to, but I hope everybody enjoys their day. Um, enjoy some time outside and, and get some vitamin D.